Welcome in. It is pro football today. Sports Grid is live on the FanDuel set out here at Mandalay Bay. Las Vegas, I'm Kevin Walsh, that is Joe Lisi, that is Donnie Wrightside, and that is Ben Stevens. As we get set to break down Super Bowl 58, the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Chiefs are no strangers to this game, and that is in large part due to having the best quarterback in football, Patrick Mahomes, who we will put our focus on to open up today's show. Mahomes is already a two-time Super Bowl MVP. He has been the driving force of this team since he became their starter. But for Pat, it's been a down year. His lowest yards per pass attempt since becoming the Chiefs' lead man and his worst touchdown to interception ratio. But as all the greats do, Ben, when they get to the postseason things tend to look a little bit up and that's been the case for 15. The most significant stages demand the most impressive results and that's what we've seen out of Patrick Mahomes here during this 2023 NFL postseason run. You see the pedigree in the playoffs. 17 career starts throughout his postseason campaign as Kansas City starting quarterback Kev only three losses and as an underdog where he enters Super Bowl 58 DRS 9-3 and three straight up 10-1-1 one one against the spread. I'm here Hearing on the streets of Las Vegas, mm. the people say, Donnie, okay. you can't bet against Patrick Mahomes. And I think those people might be correct. Now, whether or not you win money on that projection, we're not going to know about that. But Patrick Mahomes, certainly a big play quarterback, no doubt about it. When the biggest moments are there, he absolutely shines. There is a quarterbacking advantage here for the Kansas City Chiefs over the San Francisco 49ers. And Joe... I don't know. Maybe it's Brock Purdy's day to outshine Mahomes. That's going to be a tall task. Yeah, it's possible. They're doing it with defense. And you talk about Patrick Mahomes right now, four 300-yard games, Kev, compared to last year, th yeah. uh, 10 games over 300. That defense needs to step up for San Francisco. It certainly does. We have our radio audience with us. We're all now nice and cozy <laughs> here on Pro Football Today, including Sirius XM Channel 159. And I think it is appropriate, again, it's not just the wins, 4,800 passing yards, 39 to 8. That is 17. I mean, that's a full season of work yeah. that Mahomes has already had so far in his young career. The opportunity to put up a third Super Bowl trophy, potentially a third Super Bowl MVP. It is nothing short of astonishing, and it is why people, as you mentioned, Donnie, are so concerned about potentially betting against Patrick Mahomes because people feel that not just the best quarterback in the league is Pat, there's a lot of people who believe he is already the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. I mean, you could be right already. Now, we usually grade it by hardware, right? And they even ask the question to Patrick Mahomes when we're talking about, like, you know, where do you stand on that pantheon of greatness? He goes, I'm not even halfway there, even if I win this football game, which is a credit to him because he probably has another 10 to 15 years <laughs> to go and playing on the biggest stage. This is where you cement yourself. Kevin, we're both Eagles fans, but when you take a look at last year's Super Bowl, he goes into the locker room with a high ankle sprain, comes out, and you you would not have known that scrambling making the plays he needed a Super Bowl champion a true champion on the biggest stage I'm looking forward to see how well he plays in this game how many yards he can pick up but yeah. Joe as I take a look at it a fantastic quarterback nonetheless yeah absolutely they're averaging 218 passing yards per game they're doing it with Isaiah Pacheco on a rushing attack Ben that's averaging a buck 10 on the ground they've stayed in manageable third down situations and we know that his security blanket throughout the playoffs has been Travis Kelsey 31 receptions over 260 receiving yards three touchdowns San Francisco is going to have to take him away if you want to limit Pat Mahomes in this ballgame. The most prolific postseason connection between a quarterback and a receiver, that is Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Now 17 touchdowns between the pair, Kev, but we talked about Isaiah Pacheco on the ground. We talked about the right <laughs> arm of Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. How about his legs? In every Super Bowl, he has had at least 29 rushing yards. He had a touchdown against San Francisco in Super Bowl 54, finding Pater with his legs. Last year, Kev, 44 big rushing yards against the Philadelphia yeah. Eagles. His rushing yards prop for Super Bowl 58, 25 and a hook. And I know you're going over, and, and I am as well. I think Mahomes has an opportunity here to hit 
all of those alt markets, 40 plus, 50 plus. He did it, hit 40 plus against Miami on just two runs. Almost maybe the most slanderous thing he did was not go over these numbers against Buffalo and Baltimore. But that is key for me as well, guys, because Mahomes at not, no point in this season has missed that 25 and a half marker in consecutive games this year, nor in his playoff career, Joe. We know he is the definition of a big game runner. Lamar always runs. Josh Allen always runs. Mahomes gets to the playoffs and he's like, oh yeah, fellas, I can do that too. And San Francisco's defense might sort of force him into that with man-to-man -man coverage. They like to lock down the outside, especially in third down situations. If Pat Mahomes has an opportunity yeah. to mm -hmm. tuck in and run, he's going to take that chance. He did have 40 yards against the Miami Dolphins, a little bit limited against Buffalo, but in this ball game, with all the chips in the middle of the table, I expect them to take Take this ball game over, Donnie. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it as well. And also, when we take a look at those playoff scenarios that we had, front running against the Dolphins, front running against the Buffalo Bills, oh, yeah. front running again against the Baltimore Ravens. Can the 49ers flip that script on Patrick Mahomes? Because as we talk about it, this isn't an undefeated team that's coming into the playoffs here, guys. They have six losses on the season, and we've seen it in the past. If you have a devastating pass rush, which the 49ers can have, Ben, yeah. you can put pressure on Mahomes, and that makes it a completely different story. We showed the postseason stats. You see the pedigree for Patrick mm -hmm. Mahomes, but yeah. this regular season 27 touchdowns to 14 interceptions Donnie in the postseason though turnover free football clean four touchdowns zero interceptions has not put the football on the turf either that's going to be a huge key can San Francisco's defense generate a turnover to stay in front Kev I know you think the 49ers at a certain point in Super Bowl 58 will be up by double digits uh, absolutely and I think to some degree even people who are on the Chiefs think that yeah. they reference Kyle struggles in the yeah. big game they mentioned Mahomes ability as a comeback quarterback but we haven't seen that ability this season and it's not because as you said they're not undefeated yeah. it's because when they were down in the big moments something always went wrong yeah. whether that was MVS dropping a pass whether that was Kadarius Tony possibly being offside the first offensive offside people act like they've ever seen in NFL history but we talk sometimes man if you tell me the result of a market maybe I'll then be able to figure out the result of a game the interception price on Patrick Mahomes, mm. minus 115 to the yes, minus 105 to the no, Ben. Can Mahomes play clean? This Niners defense is opportunistic. We saw them turn Jordan Love over twice. Not as fortunate against Jared Goff. That is obviously key. One of the big things for San Francisco, their linebacking core, Dre Greenlaw, Fred Warner, as good as you will find around the National Football League. And we'll talk about Patrick Mahomes and his top target, Travis Kelsey, in our next segment, Kev. How does that linebacking duo for San Francisco defend what we already said is the best playoff connection between quarterback and receiver we have ever seen in yep. National Football League history? Last night, opening night of Super Bowl week here in Las Vegas, they asked Mahomes, do you feel like an underdog? And he goes, although we're getting two and a half points, I don't know if he referenced the actual spread, they never <laughs> feel like an underdog in Kansas City. Uh, I just need it. That's just what I need. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's early, now, but we're ready. Oh, now, now that is exciting. That, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, and I feel good about it. But we will dive into Travis Kelsey a little bit more right here on Pro Football Today next.